is doing well. Today I thought I would sit down and do a spring trends video. It is about mid-April, so it's kind of spring Canada. Uh, we still have our, some of our cool days. Maybe snow's coming, um, but it is spring. Things are blooming, flowers are coming, and um, the spring trends are here. So I thought I would go through my top 10 spring trends that I found. I watched some YouTube videos, I read some magazines, I just looked like what's online and what they are selling in their new collections that are coming out um, in order to get the top 10. So these are ones that I think are wearable for pretty much most people. And I think you can pick out of what you like and what you don't like and what you want to try this season um, and what's really not for you. So there's tons of trends out there. Um, and I think things can always be trending and you don't need to buy a total new wardrobe just to match the trends. See what you have in your closet already, of course. And also what like, is your true style and what suits you. Don't just go trend hunting necessarily. So um, the first one I want to talk about is color. So I feel like after winter time, it is cold and you be wearing a lot of grays and blacks and dark colors. So you want to have something bright and brighten up your wardrobe. So colors are big this year. Um, I've seen a lot of pastels out there. It's pretty big. And I've seen a lot of pastel in green. So green's a big color this year. Pink's a big color and yellow. Um, and then also like the other pastels, like a light blue, a purple, all those beautiful colors. But color is definitely in. And I think also colors are super nice to cheer people up. Um, so like putting on a bright yellow shirt can like cheer you up, which I think we all need a bit of cheering up these days um the second one which i am excited for because i love oversized things is oversized blazers so like a men's blazer and oversized shirt so like a button-up shirt but just having them oversized so i have a couple of those already because oversized has been a style for a while and we are still doing kind of the comfy but classy kind of look um because most people are still staying home and such so it's still comfy, but it's a bit classy. So I have a pink, blue, and white one, which I'm really excited to be wearing. Um, so oversized shirts are really exciting. Number three is satin scarves. So satin scarves can be worn so many ways, and I'll show some pictures of how to wear them here. Um, they are just really in. A lot of them are wearing them around their heads. You can wear them as like on your neck. You can wear them as shirts, belts, it can be like accessories to tie onto your bag and your hair. There's so many ways to wear a satin scarf. Um, and I think just having them in fun colors and patterns, but also just keeping it basic with like some like nice, like neutral tones one. And then number four is uh, knitwear for spring. So this was a thing I think last year as well, but it's just taking like light knit and making everything out of that like possible. So what's really big I've noticed is like rib knit tank tops because they're super comfy and they're like classy but they also just look good and also they're a bit thicker I find so they're easier to wear um like in the summer and stuff like that and they're not as see-through. So knits for spring and there's like knit skirts and like knit dresses so it's like light and still wearable in the spring but um yeah so it's knitwear for the spring groundbreaking um and then number five is wearing black and white so black and white is making a comeback i think it is a classic color combination that never goes out of style and i think this is going to be really easy for most people to do um i also know that black and white looks really good on brunette so if you are a brunette out there i highly recommend for you to try it out but also i just think everyone looks good in black and white so either doing a black and white pattern thing or doing like a monochrome look. Um, but yeah. And then number six is patterns. So there is a couple different patterns. So there is tie dye. There's check, like a checkerboard. Um, florals, of course. Stripes are another one as well. So those four have been seen everywhere. Um, so bring a little pattern to your life. So I put on this like nice floral shirt today as my spring shirt which I am very excited to wear I'm not sure yet if I like it as an off the shoulder sleeve or like this but get things that you can wear like um 
several different ways, I guess. And that's like, uh, utility? No, what's the word? Anyways, um, but a lot of those patterns and you can bring them up in like small aspects like your shoes or your bags or even jewelry. But then you also can like go full out and get like a full pattern dress. Um, one thing I learned about patterns recently is if you have a pattern and you look at the pattern before you see the person, that pattern is too big for you. You want your face and you to shine through. So make sure when you're looking at patterns, keep that tip in mind. Um, number seven is wide leg pants. So wide leg jeans, wide leg um, trousers, Skinny jeans is not here at the moment. Obviously, skinny jeans will always be a thing and like leggings will always be a thing. But being wide leg, and I think it's so nice for the spring. Um, it's comfy, but it just looks a bit more classier. Um, and yeah, and wide leg jeans are great. Also trousers, and that goes into number eight, which is tailoring. So spring tailoring, so a lot of like blazers and trousers and like vest tops. Um, it's really big and they're doing it in like fun colors and like they're doing it in the pastels um but tailoring is just so classy and i think they're kind of making tailoring a bit more like relaxed feel so it can be worn at home and you can still look presentable but you feel super comfy so tailoring um and then number nine is showing some skin um i <laughs> put this one in because I saw a lot of like cutouts in different dresses and netting and um, like short skirts are coming back and short shirts and like a lot of crop tops. Um, so choose what you do with this trend, I would say. Um, also find balance in what you're showing because you don't want to be showing like everything all at once. Kind of maybe choose. So like if today I'm going to focus on showing my shoulders, I'll probably wear like full pants and everything like that and like let the shoulders be the main focus of what I'm showing. Um, but yeah, so showing some skin because I think people have been locked upside so much to wearing sweatpants. They want to like show some leg because they're wearing their short skirts and stuff like that. So that is a trend. But then you also see the opposite, which I think is more me, which is like big floaty dresses and big floaty skirts um, because it's just comfy. Um, and then number 10, which we cannot forget about, is face mask. Um, the classic is just a black face mask. Um, you see them everywhere. You can buy them everywhere. You can go fancy with them. Just go basic with them. But just like, getting a face mask is in style and it's good for the world. Um, and then also chains are going to be in as well. Chains have been around forever. But still like a nice gold chain. Uh, a bit chunky, uh, a bit chunkier than these ones, but just still like gold jewelry and chains are the last one. So those are my top 10 spring trends of 2021. I hope one of those found, found interest to you and that you want to try, or you can look in your closet and go, oh, I already have that. Perfect. So you can be on trend this spring. Um, yeah, so look forward to it. I'm going to have a couple more spring videos coming, um, like a spring outfits video and maybe a spring essential video. Um, and whatever you guys else request, if you want to request anything, just leave it in the comments down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram. Um, my Instagram will be also down below where I do take every so often like outfit pictures and um, kind of a little bit about what goes on outside of doing this. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys are doing well and get outside and enjoy the beautiful weather. Obviously, the best you can because of COVID, but um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, have a good one.